Hello, children. I hope you're keeping healthy. And I know that by now you will be missing your school friends. So hopefully finishing a hot air balloon at home will cheer you up a little bit. If you were in school last week, you will have had your pack to take home. If unfortunately you were not in school last week, your pack is waiting for you in school and hopefully you will be able to collect it soon. So what is in our packs? We've got our little cute bunny that you made and the eggs as well. The paper cup which is going to become our basket for the balloon and we, which we will attach with a bit of string, a little bit of wool actually. We've got inside of the pack another type of string. This is fishing line. It's very strong so please don't play with it. There are a couple of meters here which will be enough for us to attach the top at the bottom of the balloon as well as hang it uh, at the top to a ceiling if you like. Paper as you can see is been stacked inside. Now depending on how many colors you've got uh, this one has five different colors so it will have three different sets. It's been split into sets for ease of gluing and also uh, because we want to follow the sequence of the colors. If you have a look at this one, it has the colors lined up in the order at the top so that it uh, makes it easier for you to glue it together. You should also have a couple of spare sheets. Now, if you um, have five or three, you will have two spare sheets, or if you have four or two colors, you will just have one. And I will explain that later when we start gluing them. At the back of the pack, We've got a template for gluing, uh, which has got marked A and B lines, because we are gluing, if you remember, down the A lines only on one side, and then down the B lines uh, after that. We also have A and B marked on uh, the front. Uh, this is to help us keep a track of where we are at when we are gluing things together. So. You only need uh, an ordinary pencil um, to tick every time you glue a particular line down A or B lines. In case you have some coloring pencils and you think you might get into a little, pick, a little bit of a pickle and you forget where you are or forget to tick it off, it might help you to tick, say, green colors with green pen and then pink ones with pink, etc. But this isn't really essential if you just have ordinary pencil or pen. We do need some glue, which is not provided in your pack, so I'm hoping that you have some glue at home. The one we used in school um, is just a, a washable PVA glue. It's in a tube, so it makes it easier to use um, because it can just be squeezed down. If you have a, a glue that is not uh, in a tube like that, you could pop it into a little pot and use it with a brush or a stick. You might have different kinds of glue, like some crafty, tacky glues like this one, or just a print stick or, or a different make glue stick, which you can also use. It is much wider at the top, so we won't be using it straight down like that. We need to use it slightly on the side um, so that we don't produce a very thick line. Otherwise, you won't end up with having the honeycomb effect. You end up gluing them all together. So you've got to be careful about that. Equally, it's very important, if you remember, we'll talk about it again, is not to glue A and B lines on the same piece of paper together because it will just all close shut. What else do we need? We do need some scissors. Now, little scissors like that would probably uh, be fine as well. It will make it a little bit harder to hold and cut. So if you have some larger scissors at home and ask Canelo to help you, that would be good as well. We will not glue all of our layers together. Uh, that's why we've uh, split them into these piles so that we're basically doing one set at a time and then we're cutting it separately to make it easier to cut because there are uh, between 47 and 49 sheets all together which is rather a lot to cut with scissors all in one go. A little bit of sellotape might help as well just to, to keep our paper together uh, to the uh, table or to each other uh, before we start just to help us stop it from wiggling but again if you haven't got uh, a sellotape you can use masking tape or you don't have to use anything just to be a bit more careful when you start. 
So those are all extra materials. Oh, not to forget at the end, uh, when we start joining the balloon, if you notice here, there are some holes pierced at the top as well as at the bottom uh, so that we can uh, feed our um, string through to tie it together and keep it, keep it tight. Um, these are being uh, pierced by a special punching tool which you may not have at home. So you can use other things like a little skewer, uh, different types of skewers. They are quite pointy so you'll be able to pierce through paper. You can use um, something like a, a knitting needle uh, or a pen, even better if it doesn't work anymore. So you can just use it and it won't make any marks or just a sharpened pencil would do as well. Um, any kind of other tool um, that uh, your uh, adults at home can help you use. Uh, be careful when you're punching it so you don't rip the paper, but we'll talk about that later. And so there are a lot of things here you need to be careful about, like the string, like the little pointy tools, glue so you don't make a mess everywhere, so put some newspapers to cover your surfaces to protect them, um, and all the other health and safety information um, uh, bits and bobs are on the health and safety information sheet at the end of this video so please do read it it is very important to stay safe while we're having fun making our balloon and i will show you how to glue everything in the next video and I'll see you in a bit bye